This is Brian with King Grizzly with a quick video to show how vertical alignment is just virtually impossible or very hard with Flexbox unless you do something extra. I feel like I didn't really clarify this in a previous video, so I'm just going to do this quickly. So what I have here are a series of pre-built uh, layouts that we like to use with copy and paste inside of Elementor. And as you can see, I do have them looking fairly well aligned vertically. When I say that, I mean like the, the two columns or the columns in this sort of seem to line up with the columns here, right? So uh, down here with these 50%, 25%, and so forth. If you try to do this in Flexbox and Elementor especially, it's very hard to actually get these to line up. And so the way I got these to align, if I click on the columns, is I played with the custom sizing numbers to try to get them to actually match up better. Because by default, like when I had zero, 50% doesn't line up with the two 25s underneath. The reason this is, is because look, I have one, two, three gaps here. Let's say those are 50 pixels. I'd have 150 pixels of extra space that Flexbox can't use to calculate the remaining four 25%. Whereas this one only has two gaps. So it's only got 100 pixels that are accounted uh, for. So when it's trying to figure out what 50% is, this might actually be 50% of the available space, but it doesn't line up optically. That's what I'm trying to get at. And so what I, I tried to do is to sort of come up with these manual pre-built um, containers so that they would line up. But the thing is like, they appear like down here, these layouts, if I was to put widgets in, then they would appear like they were lined up, right? But if I do a preview and we look carefully, look at this 75-25. This 75% wide is not lined up with the third 25 there. And then if I play with the size of the screen, just watch what happens to these bottom three rows. Now look, uh, <clears throat> this 50% here, it doesn't line up with the 25 underneath. And it's all about math because there's just different numbers of gaps. So Flexbox is properly dividing up the remaining space. It just doesn't match. So then what I was doing was going in there and trying to use that custom sizing, but it just doesn't work in a fluid way. So it's really, it's impossible as far as I understand. Now there are workarounds, which I wanna discuss in future videos. There's, there's possibilities to use margins and gaps and things, but I wanted to show just real briefly a tease. This is what I've been using lately. I have one pre-built uh, system or panel like building block. Uh, it's nested four layers deep, but I can get it to two or three depending on context. But let me show you the basic idea. I've got a, a panel, which would be a section, like say I have a feature section or product section on a website. Then I might have a row. Maybe it's like a product with an image on the left, text on the right, whatever. Inside of a row, I have a column. Check this out. I have we have we I have a one sheet of CSS, sort of like bootstrap, and I preload my uh, containers with different little variables and things. Don't worry about these, I'll explain later, but the gist is this means 50%, right? So if I duplicate this column, duplicate, <clears throat> now I've got two 50s, they line up perfectly. Now, if I wanted that second one to be 25, I just type in 25% for my variable. There we go. If I duplicate it, whoops, let me try that again. Duplicate, lines up perfectly. Now check this out, duplicate it again it wraps perfectly. What if I want it to be 75% wide? I go 75% wide, perfect alignment. Duplicate it again, and maybe I want it to be uh, 25. So you, you can see where this is going. Uh, I have figured out a system that works really well. It, it works with a 12 column logic. You can come out of Figma or a design program and pretty much have a one for one because it's actually accounting for outside gutters. You can actually see there's a space here for my outside gutter. Um, and that, so I've basically got gutter spacing with all my columns. And as you can see, uh, this is actually working well. I'll duplicate this 33 three times. Watch this. Perfect alignment. If I preview and size down, the alignments work. It works on tablet and mobile. So if I go to tablet here, you can see I have by default, they all go to 50 fifties, but they're all customizable. So I could click on that first one and say, Hey, I want to use the 25% here still. And maybe on the next one as well, 25. So now the wrapping is working like it used to with sections and columns. We're not doing anything really weird. I can explain this later. I am curious if people are interested in this, like, 
like would you pay for something like this if you got the the container and the css that makes it work like i said it's just one sheet of css curious and anyway uh for what it's worth it is possible to get flexbox to play nice and look great and work on a 12 column grid system and i don't remember what it is but i i, I came up with some helpers like uh, i actually have a way to turn the grid on in the background There it was. Look at that. So now you can actually see it, although I don't know if I have it set up for tablet yet. That's not working right. It's supposed to be 12 columns. I may need to adjust that. I think I broke it somehow. Anyway, I have a way to turn on a 12 column grid in the back. I just need to fix my CSS so you can actually see it aligning to the grid or not. Anyway, hopefully that clarifies how vertical alignment is basically impossible without doing some extra work and showing that there is proof that you can do things to make a really nice system that a team can use uh, to make mobile responsive, perfectly aligned designs. Curious what people think. Have a good day.